So I recently got my hands on a suit of X01 power armor here, which is pretty ironic because the character I'm playing is supposed to be a sneak character, but this thing is just so cool that I just cannot stop using it. I take it literally everywhere, which is really weird. Uh, but anyways, guys, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of the Roshank Redemption, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to create an automatic plasma rifle in Fallout 4. And let me just start this off by saying the damage on this thing is insane. The DPS is ridiculous, and it is going to absolutely decimate your enemies if you use it correctly, but there is a small downside to it, and the downside is that it burns through ammo really quickly so make sure you conserve ammo and I also recommend making a recoil compensating stock just because it'll make your weapon more accurate uh, because it reduces the kick overall because there's quite a bit of kick on this weapon. So to make the automatic plaza rifle, first and foremost, you're obviously going to need a plaza weapon. And you can find plaza weapons randomly on dead bodies or on vendors once you're above level 20. But in the 20s, it's going to be pretty rare. So in general, plaza weapons aren't common until around level 30 or even level 40. Unfortunately, overall, they're pretty rare weapons. Uh, and the nice thing is that it doesn't actually matter if you find a plaza pistol or a plaza rifle. But you can actually just use Fall Force crafting system to convert a plaza pistol into a rifle. So either of those will do here. Next, you're going to need a science skill of at least rank 1, and I personally recommend rank 3. And the reason why I recommend rank 3 is that with rank 3, you can make that recoil compensating stock that I was talking about just a second ago, and also you can make an improved automatic barrel, which will greatly improve damage and just make the gun better overall. And then finally, of course, you're going to need a ton of junk materials, and I'll list all of the exact materials that you need, as well as the respective quantities, down in the description, so be sure to check that out. Alright, first I'm going to turn this plaza pistol into a plaza rifle by attaching a stock to it right here. Uh, and you can choose between the standard stock, the marksman stock, or the recoil compensating stock. But I'm going to choose this one just because it reduces the kick a lot, and in my opinion makes the weapon a lot easier to use. And then of course we need an automatic barrel. And you could craft a normal automatic barrel, which requires only a science skill of rank 1. So like I said, technically you only need science of 1, but I recommend you get science of 3 just so you can create that recoil compensating stock. And also you can make the improved automatic barrel, which is going to help out a lot. Um, and this thing isn't too hard to make. The fiber optics is a little bit hard to find. Uh, but other than that, everything's pretty easy. I guess the gold is also kind of hard to find. But yeah, the improved automatic barrel isn't too hard to create. The hard part is more actually getting a science skill of rank 3. Because that requires at least level 28. So, which is, a, which is a fairly high level. Anyways, let's go ahead and test this monster of a weapon out. So I'll go ahead and find some enemies and I'll meet you guys in a second. Yo guys, I'm back and let's go ahead and annihilate some forged enemies. Oh my gosh! We barely shot him he just died. Die. Okay. I don't see. You want to use this thing in burst too, by the way. You definitely don't want to spray. Oh my gosh. See, like, that's not a good idea. Because this thing is not the most accurate weapon sometimes. Okay. Alright. The enemies here are actually kind of tough. Uh, whoa. Uh, this place is somewhat high level. So let's go ahead and see if we can take care, of all, take care of all of them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm out of ammo already. Wow, okay. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and actually. I'm going to pull out the shish kebab and finish the guy off for you guys. Let's get the shish kebab. The shish kebab is sick. Um, I actually sold all my weapons to do this tutorial, which is hilarious, because I needed a ton of items. The items can be pretty expensive, the items you need can be pretty expensive, which is unfortunate. I'd say it's like, it's pretty worth it at the end, just because this thing is a ton of fun to use. Even if it's not, you know, maybe the most useful weapon, it's a lot of- Oh my gosh, am I gonna die here? That'd be pretty sad. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. See, I always hated this place, because there's so many people with freaking massive flamers and just like explosive and stuff. It's just super annoying. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content in the future. The common question of the day is what weapon do you think is the most fun to use in Fallout 4? And oh man, that's a tough one. The, pla the automatic plasma rifle is a ton of fun to use for sure. The shish kebab here is also a ton of fun to use. I'm just going to go ahead and say those two for now. Those two are really fun. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. And I will see you all in my next Fallout 4 video.